Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In today's tutorial, we'll learn how to create this interactive option list using Figma and its prototyping. Let's get started. All right, let's begin by creating a new frame like that. Zoom in 100%. All right. And I'm going to create my first list item. Let's give it 15 size. Me back layers. Let's change its color like that. And let's go to icons, iconify. Let's pick check icon. Let's pick the first one, click and drag, and let's drag it to the left like that and change its color. Let's change it all the way to white so we don't want to see it here. Move it to the top till we disappear. Now let's go and turn it to a component and create a new variant. List rename to list item. And in here, I'm gonna go pick the circle or ellipse tool and let's create a new ellipse and let's move it inside my variant tool and it will go under my layers on the background like that. So let's move the text like that. and this will be my background animation. Let's hit the K and scale it up. Move it like that. You know, as you can see, I have scaled it all the way up until it will fill every space of my variant. This will be animated and it will be, I mean, it will look great once we animate it. All right, let's change it to blue color like that. And you know, my, um, my check icon, I'm gonna make it appear here in the right center and change this to white. All right, now let's go to prototype. Let's select and let's go and pick while hovering smart animate gentle 800 millisecond. So this is just one of my list item. So let's create a new frame. Let's see, let's go to asset and let's see how it works so far. Change its background. The fill background, let's hit play. And if I hover, as you can see, the color is changing, but I need to create, you know, a circle animation, an ellipse that is growing. So here, as you can see, I have this ellipse in variant two, but I need to add it also in variant one, like that, and hit the K and shrink it like that and align it just in the bottom left edge. Now let's go back and see the magic. All right, so this is a better animation. All right, now let's go and click and create my drop down menu. So let me remove this frame. And let's go and create a new frame. Let's give it a border radius of eight, like that. And for my text, let's add text tools. Let's center and give it 16. Change this color to a dark gray. And let's add an icon, a row, bottom, all right, 
that's big. We have a lot of arrow. Let's pick this one and we'll rotate it. Let's go and add it here. Let's rotate 45 degree like that. Let's zoom in. Let's change its color. Very dark gray. Move this to the side. As simple as that. All right, now let's rename this drop down list. Let's create a new frame like that. I mean, let's rename this trigger, and this is my drop down. So, this is the container of my drop down list. And for this drop down list, I'm gonna add my items. Not align like that and make sure it fits all the I mean all the frame command C and command V let's create three items let's duplicate tight up and zero spacing between each one and then select this frame and resize to fit. Rename this, for example, my tools, Photoshop, and Figma, obviously, and Sketch. All right. Now let's give my drop down eight pixels border radius and all right like that and let's group command G and frame all right so we have those two components in one single frame and this will be renamed as menu let's transform this to a um, component and add a new variant all right in this new variant i'm gonna resize this one like that so this is the open one move this to the right and rotate till it be directed to the top and center so this is our open version and this is our closet version. For our closet version, I'm gonna recrop this frame like that closely and let's make the layer 0%. All right, let me resize the component frame and make each one beside let me align this like that and resize to fit all right now let's see let's go to prototype and select this one and connect it with this screen yeah and let's see on click smart animate channel 800 millisecond all right and now let's select this screen and connect with that and let's give it mouse leaf smart animation until 800 milliseconds so once we mouse leaf from this we'll go back to a closet version all right let's see how it works let's create a new frame Let's go to Assets, Menu, and maybe let me 
select this first component that had this size to fit. All right, so here we have a nice, you know, container frame. Change this background to be like this. All this bright color. Let's hit play. All right. Now, if I hover or if I click, excuse me, have a nice. As you can see, we have a problem in this animation. But if I mouse leave, works. Maybe let's go and make it. Maybe not on click, but while hover. Yes, let's make it while hover. So let's go to prototype. So let's select this one. And let's pick while hovering. All right, so while hover, it works great. And I move back. But while hover has a problem, we cannot access our list, we we'll close. So we're gonna use another interaction. It is mouse enter. All right, so let's go back. It works like that. Yes, now let's fix this. So to fix that, we need to go here in our list item components. Let's align it with the constraints right and center. So once we resize, this will be uh, in the right and center always. And for my circle, we're gonna play just with the constraint. I'm gonna add left and right and top and bottom. So once we increase the size of this, this item, this circle will grow exactly follow the size or the width and also the icon will stay on the right edge. All right, let's play again. And as you can see, it works great. Let me change this. We align it like that so you can see it better. And as you can see, it's a nice drop down list. All right. Thank you so much for staying until the end of this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, hit the like or subscribe button and I will see you in another video.